Hey yo, what's poppin' Piglets? That's my new name for my subscribers, it's Piglets. PulseCon was this weekend, and I wanted to do a live stream reacting to the reveals, but it was sort of a last minute thing, and I couldn't set it up in time. But I did manage to record myself reacting to the event, so here's that now, clipped for your viewing pleasure. If you guys want to see me live stream anything in the future, please let me know, and I'll try to set it up for next time. Damn, she got a big ass. She's got a big nose. Too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that what she looks like? I don't think I've ever seen her other than just like her upper face and shoulders. Bring out Mark. I don't want to see her. I mean, I don't want to see her, but I want to see Mark. Everyone just wants to see the toys, right? Nobody wants to see the other shit, right? It's like Hall of Fame is always rigged. I'd like to call in some backup if that's okay with you. Dude, dude, Mark, 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 Mark. Oh no, it's this new. You might know what we're going to be revealing today. We have a bunch of new legacy items. For oh, I love how they're always like, well, you guys probably know what's coming up. Shit, that's on you guys, okay? That's not on us. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Mark worked very hard with our packaging team to. Dude, yeah, I'm. Uh, dude, the package is making me pretty hard, too. Goddamn. Do you see him up there? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, it's a little slug. Oh my god, he looks really cute. Oh my god, he looks great. He looks pretty good for like a little guy. He he really looks like they just downsized the leader version. I like their little acrylic base. They have like a piece of like foam board on like a lazy Susan. There's like a big dent in the front. First core class. All right. Dino bots. So I suppose maybe we have a second Dino. Oh, do we have a second Dino bot? Up on screen. Image. It's Sludge. Oh my god, he's thick! As I was saying, this guy is gonna be a combiner. What the fuck?! Oh my- are you serious? They're turning into fucking- what was that thing's name? Volcanicus? Holy shit! Oh my god, that's neat. I didn't know that. Oh, there's- there are six of them separately, you saw that. Right. So, there might be a slash or a paddles. <laughs> Sound blaster, yeah. This is cool, right? We did they even change the colors on the cassette? I don't think they did. Oh my god. I mean, he looks nice. I wish I had gotten the uh, the Siege Sound Blaster. I want the Japanese one because he's got the different logo. He's got the Mercenary logo. But I really regret not picking it up when it was at Walmart. He looks good. Like, uh, black repaints usually look really good. He looks good. It looks like pretty much all the other paint ops are the same as the original. Very cool that we got to have this here. <laughs> it's so funny. Like they, they like they have to whoever whoever has to draw the uh designs made this dynamic shot of a cassette player launching a cassette into the air. Oh there's Mark, oh my god. I love Mark, he's great, he's my favorite guy. We made Motormaster last year, he was the combiner. Oh we made Menasaur, so obviously means there's still one more piece to Oh, they're just talking about breakdown. I thought they were I, I got excited for a second because I thought they were gonna talk about uh, another combiner. There he is, breakdown. Shout out to Dave White for making this happen. He they hired a guy named Dave White to make the white member of the fucking, uh, Stunicon team. His head mold looks good. He at least has a different gun than the other guys, too. Oh, I like that it becomes an axe, actually. That's really sweet. That's like what they did with, uh, Red Alert. How did they get theirs to seat properly? I can't get my Wild Rider to seat properly, and I don't know why. I'm, like, a little bit concerned about the, uh... The figure just being, yeah, we'll like, a retool, and they didn't really, like, change the car all that much. Like, most people are just gonna display him as a foot, so it doesn't matter. So that if you are a mitten box collector, you can actually collect these all in the right same packaging. I mean, uh, that's cool, I guess. Again, mitten box is basically meaningless when you don't put plastic in the, uh, face. But the box is still different, because the top's different. I, I just feel like they, they, they really should not care about the packaging at this point. Oh, shit. Scrap hook. Oh my god, look at this guy. Whoa. This is a lot of fun. He's like a he's like a Mad Max looking fucking like armored tow truck. That's sweet. Oh my god, he looks sick. So they turned the junkions into the weaponizers, basically. You see in the junk like that like that makes perfect sense, right? Because that's like like the character like that's their gimmick already. I really would like to see more of these. That's interesting. The only thing that I don't like about these weaponizers, he looks kinda small. The only thing that I don't like about these like weaponizers is that like they kinda don't transform. Right, because you got to take him apart. He he kind of looks like he probably transforms properly. He does transform without parts forming as well. All right, he just he just answered my question. Oh, they just spoiled Hot Rod. Look at that. 
<laughs> Mark's hairline's very weird. Oh, they really tried to make him look anime accurate. Oh my god. Look at uh, all of his fucking car mode is on his feet and his legs. So these weren't always the best design, like, designs in the first place, but like, those legs look really crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, he looks like a play school toy. <laughs> Why is he underneath the inserts? I don't understand. Needle nose. People will wait for needle nose. He looks good. He's got a huge ass holes in his thighs, but oh look! <laughs> look at that! Look at that jet mode! Oh my god! He's got like Power of the Primes, Prime Master style weapons. They put the money in him. They couldn't give they couldn't give Hot Shot Jolt, but they gave Needle Nose two little guys. I mean that's cool, but like. Come on, you guys can't throw in some mini cons for Armada? We saw the Prime on the poster. He's also underneath the insert. What's up with that? All right, this is me theorizing, right? So like, they people care about the face paint more than anything, so they kept the face exposed, but he's under the insert so that you can't pull him out. Interesting. The, the lengths they will go to to not put plastic faces on the packaging. Obviously, Voyager will be next. Are we going? Voyager, okay, so. This is it. This is the big one. Voyager's. Oh, Leo Convoy. Oh my god. That, 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 uh, that lion head looks rough. Oh my god, his eyes are unpainted. Oh my goodness. Okay, this. I'm a little torn on this. Both of those modes look great, but the beast head looks like shit. Yeah, they're trying to do the realistic animals thing, and like. Ah, something, something about it's not right. Like, it looks a little. Downy. Oh my god. Look how good the lion head looks on the packaging! Look how dumpy the lion head looks on the toy compared to the packaging! Why, what the fuck? I'm not ready. Close my eyes. Comic Universe Tarn! Oh shit! Okay. Alright, interesting, interesting. Ooh, okay. Oh man. You know me. Perfect. I mean, he looks big. I feel, uh, I just, uh, his shoulders look a little small. That's, that's the only thing. I think his shoulders look just a little small. Oh my god, though. Like, fuck. I just, like, I just wanted the Tarn so bad. So, I'm glad we're getting one. I think, I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it. Like, if I wanted, like, a super huge built one, I could get, what is his name, Coltor? When this thing showed up in the office and I got to see, like, the EP2 sample of it, it's probably nut a little bit. He's just like, right in the office, right in front of Isabella. Yeah, this, like, he, this is basically, like, the G-axis of this wave. Like, this is where the money went, you can see. I wish they would do, like, scale uh, with these reveals. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Was the, uh, was the blur in Velocitron comic universe blur? I didn't even notice. I don't think he was. But now he's comic universe, but that's not the same comic universe as the Wreckers figures. It's a, it's a little confusing. It looked like a delicious piece of broccoli. I was on top of it. I was like, ooh, what is that? Yeah, all right. So all of this. Why does he look like he's on like a terrorist execution video? Oh my god. I could care. I could not care any less about Magic the Gathering. I'm from Wizards of the Coast and I'm a principal designer on a little game called Magic the Gathering. I'm starting to understand why Magic the Gathering is in the state that it's in. Let me just put it that way. And I'm not going to say anything else. Look, like, fucking BMAC looks like he's like in like a school yearbook photo. Close your mouth! Close your fucking mouth! Oh my god. Why is the fucking ability for Optimus Prime where he fucking dies? <laughs> these are interesting. I mean, like, if I cared enough, I do like cards. It'd be interesting to collect these, but like... I also know that these are going to be like ridiculously expensive. Kind of the Autobot next to Decepticon logo, not too different from the the shirt that you're rocking there. Uh, so He's yeah, like, oh shit, yeah. This is really an awesome <laughs> he like checked out. I don't think he cares about this. He probably doesn't. Who has the best lighting? It's not BMAC. Super, super. It's not. It's not a. With the teams over there as well. Phil Fish over there. There's a 13 out of 15, so is this like a limited set of these things or something? If it's like just a limited set of them, probably would be easy to get. But then they have like the special edition, like Shattered Glass Optimus, and that one's probably gonna be like $100. Where's <laughs> his headlights? He's got like a fleshy wrapping on his vehicle mode. That's gross. Power hungry. And then <laughs> Megatron's like funk walking away. What the fuck? He's a little bitch. Look at him. Two, three. He's the um. 
Should I glass touch jet? Mine's yellowing. I'm really pissed. Like barely any of my figures yellow, but that's the one that has decided to yellow, and it's pissing me off. Lazy big token. That's cute. That's the exact same pose that's on the comic cover. So, so are they gonna reveal Shadow Glass Soundwave too? Slicer. Fuck a slicer? What do you mean slicer? So you're looking at this going, huh? You know, this could be the antithesis of um, Wheeljack in G1 animation if he existed. No. Oh. That doesn't make me think that. It just makes me confused. I do like the art that they've like tried to recreate the like not just like the G1 style, but like the style of the animation cells themselves. This is very weird. This is a very weird artwork. Look at this. Okay, how do I like describe this? It's like it's G1, but they've taken the Prime RC and made her actually look like a G1 character model, which the figure doesn't look like. That artwork makes that figure look so good. And nothing like the uh, the actual figure. <laughs> this dude needs to close his fucking mouth. Brothers War, which you know you might hear some more about in the upcoming days. So stay tuned. I'm never gonna hear about this because I'm gonna give a shit about Magic the Gathering. He he literally talks for like a minute at the start of that little session, and then he just didn't do nothing for like five minutes. Oh look at that boss. Orion is getting fixed and kind of becoming something else. <laughs> becoming something else. What does that mean? I mean I'm glad they picked the cup figure because like that cup figure is really great. What is the uh, little thing? And Optimus's hand supposed to be in this side because with Cup it's like Energon goodies. Oh my God, I hope they fucking I hope I can get one. God, it's like I'm really concerned because like it's a G1 set, right? It's a G1 set of like a really important moment in the series. So it's like I feel like this is gonna be like Cosmos, where like he's just not gonna be available after a certain point in time. Hey, they gave him both open hands. I just noticed that. That's interesting. Asked you to vote for your favorite animated character of the year, as well as your favorite. Everyone, everyone was telling me to like vote for uh, Lockdown or Lugnut, and I, I, I don't think I voted for anybody. Actually, I don't even remember. Animated figures be like, <laughs> that's me right now. I'm sorry. I think they're talking about Derek Wyatt's death this year, and I was making monkey noises over it. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Rest in peace, Derek J. Wyatt. Uh, I love your show. He's a great creative. It's a horrible, uh, horrible loss for the animation community. <laughs> oh, all my, all my, uh, all my oomphies on Twitter freaking out over the lug nut sweep. Oh my god. I don't know if this means we'll get a commander class lug nut. I kind of doubt it, but okay. The toy of the year is going to be really, really stupid. I mean, I mean, I like Motor Master. I mean, it's in, I mean, it's impressive. I don't know if I agree. Like, I don't disagree, but I don't know if I agree. You know? We do have our human inductee for the year. Hopefully it's me. For those that don't know Henry, he was essentially a Polish Jew who survived the World War II concentration camps. Crazy. Uh, he crazy. This is just that is that is crazy. Uh, we wouldn't be here today without your contribution. Yeah. Dicks out for Henry. Hashtag dicks out for Henry. Without She's him, back, fellas. Now, with that, I think we should head back into some more reveals. What? What, really? Is he playing with a yeah. speaking spell? What the fuck is he doing? Ooh. Look what we did. No, dude, is that a light bright? That's it's a light bright. That's the light bright. Whoa, you got the Lego Optimus Prime? Are they revealing the light bright? If they were selling that, I would honestly buy one. A light bright for of Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, this is a product. And guess. Scan to pre-order now. Oh, have they changed the shape of the light bright pegs? I didn't notice. Light bright pegs used to have like little sharp tips on the end of them. In case you guys don't know, the Optimus looks pretty cool though. I kinda, I kind of want one. That looks really cool. I like that it has like cell shading. I'm already getting notifications on Twitter about the look. That's sweet. Oh boy, I I am not. I'm not especially looking forward to this this show, honestly. It's the first time we're going to see Transformers robots who were born on Earth. Born on Earth. That's actually, that's not true. Because, like, animated was all about Transformers appearing on Earth. That's like the plot to that show. Oh, these kids are really, really ugly looking. Oh my god. What are they? She's naked. Oh, here we go. It's Pedo Optimus Prime. Based! Big news. Big news. Big, big news. Right? Let's move to comics, you guys. For oh, no. Rodimus is actually this kind of covered wagon, like you'd find in, like, the American West. And he's been, you know, disguised as a wagon. So he kind of... I love the idea of having to figure out kind of what sort of... I was, like, half paying attention to what he was saying, but did he just, like, spoil the whole plot to this comic book? Oh, my God. V-Man. He's, he's just... He's like a stone. He doesn't move. He only blinks, and he doesn't make any facial expressions. Is he okay? Tarantulas has created this, these biological transforms um, 
They're just letting him tell the plot to the comic book. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the March back. Soundwave, uh, finally that Earthrise mold. What Earthrise mold? What are you talking about? All right, this is the problem, right? Is that this thing? I, I said it on Twitter. This is either going to be amazing or this is going to be an absolute fucking tragedy. Because he's all white. What are the chances that all of the sound waves are going to just yellow into like piss? Oh, oh, they actually use it in the Netflix mold. And he comes with a little ravage and he comes with a little laser beak. Okay. <laughs> oh, they sculpted the bandana onto his head. I didn't think of that. That's fucking hilarious. He looks like a Ninja Turtle. I mean, listen, again, he looks great, right? On the surface, I'm really excited about this. But in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, do people even remember that Shattered Glass Ravage was like a meme for a long time? Because he, because he was like a, he was like a, I can has cheeseburger type cat. My artwork featured on a cover for a. Oh, he drew that. I, I guess I never thought about it, but it, it makes perfect sense that he's an artist too. I like the cover. He did the cover for the the main cover. I like it. He did a good job. I I read the first two issues of the Shattered Glass book, the first for the first year, and I. I, I, I was kind of impressed by it. I need to finish it. See if it's still good. I want mine signed by Mark. It's gonna be cool. I want mine signed by Mark. He's like a he's like an automaton. He becomes more animated when he starts talking. But like, if you're not speaking to him, he just turns off. We're excited to have the opportunity to show you the final result of all the hard work we've been working on for. The but we still didn't see a lead class. Stick around. Nothing has changed. A little salty about that. I was kind of expecting to see like Legacy Wave Four still, because like. The steam did not run out. There was supposed to be like a Legacy Wave 4, but it does look like they've just kind of like shifted and they're going to change gears and just go into year 2 stuff, which is fine. Because like the rumored Legacy Wave 4 stuff was just like repaints and shit. It was like Twin Cast and it was like a, a Wheeljack repack and a Cheetor repack. Which I don't know why they would put out Wheeljack three times. They should have done Star Street here. That's what they should have done. I mean, obviously, I don't know if that's still coming out because they didn't say anything about it, but. It could just be like something that pops up on a pulse stream like a month from now. It's like, okay, we're still doing Wave Four, guys. If you want, you want to buy another wheeljack. This is Optimus Prime. He's a lion. He's fierce. It's not Optimus Prime. It's Lyle Convoy. It's a different guy. They got this dude. He don't know anything about Transformers. They need to pull me on this stream. Hey, uh, what the fuck? Why is there? Are they selling a Tarn NFT? I'm glad I didn't shut the stream off. What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's a Tarn NFT. What the fuck? We got Tarn. He's live. He's here. He's not live. This is fucking CGI. They make them look so stiff. I hope the figure's not that stiff. He's just standing there menacingly. Tarn has been known to whisper Decepticon deserters and traitors to death. Oh, she's like probably the only person on staff that knows that. You do not want to go against the Decepticon cause when you're messing with Tarn. <laughs> Prank of Tarn. <laughs> Say the N word, Tarn. Oh! Here he is! The alt mode. What is this? This is like a fucking like like Blue's Clues fucking like PBS watching some fucking people soy out over stuff on a green screen. This is like a preschool show. The other turns back. What the fuck? We're gonna keep the energy up. We're gonna keep it moving and grooving. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Shake that ass a little more, baby. I mean, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that it looks really good. Like, it could look a lot worse. And I'm glad that he's like a big voyager, too. His underwear's out. Great, thank you so much again. Thank you so much, Isabella. Get the fuck off my set. So that was PulseCon 2022. And I would say that I wasn't really disappointed by what was shown off. It feels like they made a big deal out of this event to only show off, like, only around the same amount of stuff that they show off during a normal live stream. But I was happy to see some stuff that I've been hoping for for a while. Really excited about Tarn. Really interested to see how that miniature Dinobot combiner turns out. And I'm actually a lot more interested in that Junkion stuff than I thought I was going to be. So let me know what you guys are most excited about in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.